The early mine required many employees. Let's look at some of these pictures. You can see, look at all the people they have on the ground here. Well, you know, they had the, sh the shovels, the steam shovels, and they had oilers and operators, and they had the steam engines, but had brakemen and firemen and the engineer. They had the track crews, but had to keep moving the rails closer to the mountain. So this is really a in labor-intense job. So they needed a lot of people. So we're going to talk about the people of Bingham. The people. The mine was just a mine, just work. It was the people of Bingham that made the place come alive. The people of Bingham were from all over the world. It would be called the League of Nations. The early open pit operation was labor intense. A demand for cheap labor brought a flood of immigrants to the mine. Bingham Canyon would become the most ethically diverse place in the state. By 1912, 65% of the population was foreign-born. Greeks were the predominant nationalities, followed by Serbs and Cretes and Northern Europeans. Each had its own stores and restaurants. They brought with them their own customs and religions. Carfork was the home of Norwegians and Swedes and Finns. Copperfield was home to the Greeks and Japanese and Britons and Scandinavians. There was French and Irish and many more people came to Bingham. The people who ever lived in Bingham loved the place. Even years after leaving, people always talked fondly about it. If you once lived in Bingham, you were always part of an exclusive club. People who lived in Bingham did not have much. Some of their houses were no more than shacks built with scrap lumber. They fixed them up Many were unpainted and outside without yards, but on the inside they were clean and full of love, and they were happy. They had this common thread, that of community. They all lived on top of a mountain. Most worked on the hill. They were separated by nationality, race, color, or religion, but they had this common bond of living in this place called Bingham. Prejudice and discrimination was commonplace at the mine. There was the name calling, there was fights, but over time, working day to day next to each other, you made a connection and then a bond. The company was guilty of lowering pay and labor intense jobs to different nationalities. Over time, with the help of the unions, this trend started to change. Some of the tables even turned by themselves. The children of Bingham Canyon were the big game changers. They went to the same schools, they played together. It was the children that changed the attitude and brought the people together.